It's finally time to take a look at Techno's first one-tenth scale buggy. Is it everything like all of their other lineup? Does it build the same? Does it drive the same? It's time to unbox the brand new EB410 and see what you get inside the box. Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and today it's the day it's finally here the brand new techno eb 410 time to unbox this thing see what we get inside the box now of course you're just seeing this brown cardboard box in front of you the actual box art is not available yet so techno was nice enough to go ahead and ship this out to me so we can kind of get an advanced view of what you get inside the box and i can get a head start on building this thing up here at the rc network so what makes makes the Techno EB410 so special and so anticipated in the RC community. Well, this is Techno's first stab at a 110 scale buggy. Yes, of course, they have their 10 scale short course truck and their quote unquote 10 scale monster truck. But in the race world, 10 scale buggy is pretty much where it's at. And this is the Wheeler. This is the four wheel drive edition. And of course, this thing can definitely go fast. Now with the EB410, what's so nice nice is this is a 2017 design. This isn't a design that was maybe established in the 90s or the 80s or even early 2000 and just kind of improved upon over time and carried over bad issues and that type of stuff. This is a fresh ground up design 2017. It can definitely handle all those different tracks out there. All right, enough jabbering. Let's get this thing open. See what we get inside the box. And of course, kind of go from there. So inside this nice little cardboard box is some goodies. Spilling everything out, it kind of displays all of the items that's included in an EB410 kit, including the chassis, the clear body, the fluids, the main bag of parts, and of course, decals, window masks, and the owner's manual. Starting off with the owner's manual, Techno does a great job of writing their owner's manuals and making them very comprehensive throughout. Now they do have a somewhat colored display throughout, kind of monochromatic, and it has has highlights of all the different parts with the diff fluids and even when you get into some of the nicer aluminum parts they are highlighted by special colors we're kind of seeing those in the a b c and d blocks here and looking at the gray color the window masks are your standard pre-cut window masks that go on to that fighter jet inspired body finally the official techno decals for the eb410 i love that they have kind of window outlines right here and all of the kind of military looking insignias and the little vents and everything to decorate your new body. Speaking of the new body, it's pretty cool. I actually like this body. It has that fighter jet inspired front right there that kind of looks like a stealth fighter. And it also has different cutouts and whatnot that you can do to just let air kind of flow through the body. Love the directional items up here, the fins to help you in mid flight. Fluids included in the EB410 kit. You get 500 CST shock oil for both sets of shocks. You also get some 7,000 and 15,000 differential fluid. You get Loctite and of course some black grease. No additional fluids needed to build your Techno. As with any Techno build, you start with the differential starting with the center diff. Looks like we have some 48 pitch gearing. We also have the plastic cross pins that we see in some of the race vehicles. And of course the lightened hardened out drives right here for the center diff. Front and rear differentials are quite nice. You have the hardened steel gears right there. Looks very nice with the seals and all the O-rings. Almost a eight scale buggy size differential here. These things are quite large. Next you have all of the diff cases and all the bits and pieces right here. Looks like this is probably the front. We have the uh, bevel gear right there. So quite nice. D-bag, yes, we do have the D-bag and some aluminum bits and pieces in there. Probably the rear, we have the rear shock tower as well. Uh, very nice. Next we have the arms. These things are super nice. We have adjustable pucks right there for the A, B, C, and D blocks. Quite nice. We have a sway bar that's also in there. The front arms right here. We do have the hinge pins and also the aluminum a and B blocks. And taking a look at the arms, I pulled one out right here. This is one of the front arms and it is quite nice. Look how solid that thing is. This thing is super thick. I mean, you can really see the 
beefiness right here and even on the uh, side profile as well. And then finally the F bag right here, which are the rear hub carriers and then also the rear universals. So the second set of bags starts with bag H and this includes all of your front end. So you have your knuckles, your C hubs, your front shock tower, which is super thick. This thing is about seven millimeters thick. Uh, that can definitely take a beating. And of course the front universals and all the other bits and pieces for your front end. Next we have bag I and this is gonna have some of your internal pieces and braces and I'm also seeing a motor mount in there looks like we have a center and rear drive shaft rear drive shaft is like I don't know maybe an inch and three quarters right there and the front center is about four and a half inches so uh, quite small uh, of course comparing this to their eight scale versions bag J comes with their shock package either front or rear I'm gonna have to read up more on that in a little bit here but looks like we have the springs and also uh, all the bits and pieces now of course these are 13 millimeter shocks so a little bit bigger than your standard 12 millimeter big bores that we see on a lot of 10 scale buggies so techno of course doing things a little bit different and i definitely like that skipping bag k the rear shocks we do have bag m which is all of the braces right here probably for some center portions I also skipped bag L, but this is the long bag right here. It looks like we have some uh, servo mount and some other bits and pieces for everything to mount onto. And of course, an antenna tube that nobody runs anymore. Bag N is pretty cool. It does have a somewhat pre-cut wing. You do have to uh, go ahead and cut for the actual holes, but it looks pretty much pre-cut. You can also cut the wicker down here at the back. You have a battery strap in there that has the word techno kind of carved into it, which is pretty cool. We have some shims in there. It looks like 1.5, three, and maybe zero for the angle of the wing. And of course, Velcro, which is very nice. So that body is going to be able to be mounted by Velcro, but I also see body pins in there as well. Last bag is bag O. I have no idea what this is. It looks somewhat of a servo mount, but not really, and a one millimeter shim and some other bits and pieces. And that finalizes all of the bags. And finally, the aluminum chassis. This thing just looks beautiful. It's like, it should be like framed and hanging on a wall. Just the overall look and feel and the engineering that went behind it is just absolutely beautiful. I love the design of it, how it's kind of thick up here towards the front and tapered back here on the rear. Now, a lot of buggy designers actually design their buggies looking like this. Techno does things different. They actually designed it like this. This thing just looks so cool. I love all of the uh, milling in here on the internal. And then on the external, everything's countersunk. We have chamfered edges all the way throughout. This thing just is absolutely beautiful. And finally, Techno was able to send me a couple of option parts that they're gonna have available here very soon for the EB410. Now, a couple of these are prototypes and they're still kind of working on the design and function of these, but we have the shock towers, a battery strap, and then also a center diff kind of brace. Uh, they're all made out of carbon fiber, definitely like these things. Well guys, that is my unboxing of the brand new Techno EB410. I cannot wait to build this thing. As soon as I turn the camera off, I'm going to grab my wrenches, start wrenching this thing and getting it built so I can show you guys the next video in the series, which of course is the build update, how the kit looks prior to electronics, wheels and tires, and that is it. Well guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, definitely give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate each and every thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Fresh RC every week at the RC Network. Well, guys, that is it for now. If you have any comments or questions, throw it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over now.